ready for uh, more action. And we're going to start off, first of all, with a matchup for the Universal title. Corey Crichton defend against Robert McManus. And this should be interesting. Should be very interesting, folks. Of course, I expect Crichton next week to make a defense of the... Uh, of the kickstart title. Yeah. We're just waiting for, uh, yeah. We're just waiting for the committee from kickstart to decide if they got a legitimate content, uh, and the contender they want him to defend it against. Yeah, we don't want to pick a contender and be like, uh, yeah, okay, that's not the one that you wanted. We, you know, that's their title, so they got the right to uh, say anything on that one. And uh, right now we got McManus ready for this big opportunity, man. Yeah, very big opportunity. I'll tell you that much right now. And welcome Joker J87 who is following who is now following Vampiro0712 on Twitch. Thank you for your support there, Joker J87. Greatly appreciate it. So that's 123 followers we got now. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tell you that much right now. Good feeling, I'll tell you that much. And there is Corey Crichton right there, the Universal Champion. We started this match, and then all of a sudden there was a glitch that happened with uh, YouTube. So, I mean, uh, not with YouTube, but with Twitch. Yeah. Start recording, and then all of a sudden it's like, okay. But here's Crichton, and he's got that. And that T-shirt is on sale right now at uh, mustsyrustling.com. Shop Must See Wrestling. The Crichton Def Leppard style t-shirt. Where it says Crichton and Domination 2020. And uh, he has stuck to that because it's like basically he has not gone without a title. Right now he's got two of them. Will he still have two or will he be down to one to, after tonight? That's going to be the question. And right now McMahon is starting off quickly. Of course, McManus has been having his troubles as of late because Sasha Banks has claimed that he that sh he has an eye on her, and on the other hand, his wife Sue Suchel is getting hounded by uh, the, uh, MSW World Champion uh, Chaz Foreman, aka Crossbones. I think I see McManus in the back trying to ask Adam Strange nicely if he can have the tell shot, and Adam's like, "No, can't do it, man." He's like, "He's worked hard for you," he says. So. Uh, Therefore, uh, he had to deal with this matchup against Crichton for the Universal title. And right there, McManus now. Crichton kicks out. And right now, McManus taking Crichton. And didn't do anything in time as Crichton manages to get a few elbows in and a, uh, oh man, right there, oh. Oh man, and oh, DDT, the great equalizer. Not much, Takamoto, how you doing, sir? How are you doing tonight? There's our number one fan right there, Harold Takamoto, and uh, we thank him for all his support, definitely. As he's watching his, uh, as you all know, he is the president of the Corey Crichton fan club. And today, I guess Abramoff was talking about that. He says that uh, he's going to let Takamoto keep all the profits for uh, what he makes in that uh, fan club. He's not going to plan to take any uh, 
profits off of uh, Takamoto there, so he's welcome to do whatever he wants with them. I guess I'll, I guess I have him. I'll try to extend an all all branch to uh, Mr. Takamoto, because of course now that Corey Crichton is going to be the uh, flagship for uh, big time wrestling, as Crichton has signed exclusively. Crichton says that uh, he likes Aramoth's way of thinking. It definitely likes uh, Malachi's way of thinking of uh, giving some of the younger stars a uh, more to spotlight instead of just seeing. Uh, as uh, he claims more of the was it uh, more of the was it lesser of the wolf pack and lesser of the force, and right now Crichton. Oh man, I heard the sound of that. Boy, there's the money shot. Yeah, he calls it. <laughs> oh man, Malachi's really sucking up, ain't he? I guess he's trying to make good business relations. That's what he says. He's not trying to get on anybody's bad side. I know that Jimmy Coldblood uh, Sr. tried to claim that uh, Daddy is not really uh, some, not really 205 pounds. I'll tell you what. But Six Killer says he saw the scales. They weighed him three times before that light heavyweight title match, and they said he is 205, which is really wow. He must be one heck of a bean pole. Of course, uh, well, yeah, of course, uh. Daddy's got the got the uh, day off, got the uh, tonight off because he won that uh, light heavyweight title. Uh, was it Wednesday from Jimmy Coldblood Jr. But of course, Coldblood on the other hand gets a face off against the big time boss himself, Avramov tonight for the Tri American title, all because Coldblood does have a victory over Avramov. <laughs> Takamoto is even saying that's not true. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do about that, to tell you the truth. I have no idea. I would like, yeah, I would like, uh, who knows what that could be. And uh, look at Crichton going to work on uh, McManus. Oh, and McManus with a kick to the head. And right now... McManus. Uh oh, what's he gonna do here? Uh oh. This may not be good from uh Crichton. And what is he gonna oh there oh he nails him. Oh wait a minute, and Crichton kicks him off, but McManus puts it on the draw. Oh man, nails him. Going for the pin. One, two. Oh, and Crichton kicks out. Holy cow. And Crichton from behind sneaks, sneaks, uh, gets away from that one. And, oh, man. Crichton go down nowhere. Just like that. And now he's got the, uh, oh, he's got the Indian death walk. And Crichton, we know, I mean, we know McManus has got bad knees because we remember one time he submitted to Merle's figure four in a tag team match. Where him and Billy Paul unfortunately lost to Merle and Fisher when Billy Paul was still around. Oh, man. And oh, gosh. There's the money shot again. I think I might see McManus' teeth fly out of his mouth. And that's it. Crichton wins. Wow. Big win for Corey Crichton. Hey, wait a minute. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, are you kidding me? Bombers coming in. Oh, you are you kidding me? Bombers cashing it in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh! And right there, Crichton going to work already. Not wasting any time. Good move by the champion. Oh man, Bomber! He basically he won that last week, and now he's not—he's uh, now trying to get rid of it as much as possible. It must be like that dollar bill in some kid's pocket when you—it it burns a hole when you want to spend it. Oh, back fist right there! Oh man, and he—man, that Crichton just gets smacked.
And Croyton now with a kick. Croyton. And Bomber doesn't he have a match. I, I think Bomber has a match with Brimstone. But of course, it's a non title affair. And there's the elbow right there from uh, Bomber. And right there, Bomber going to work on Croyton. And referee uh, taking his time getting over there. And uh, giving him a, it looks like that gave Crichton enough time to recover and kick out. And oh, Bomber gets caught right on his knee. And oh, Crichton. Oh, pinning power bomb. Oh, he's going for the Boston Crab. He's going to try to wrench the back of Bomber. Yeah, I guess where Bomber would have cashed it in on the MSW World Title, but yeah. Oh, man, he tried going for a clothesline. He gets flapjack. Stun gun in the ropes. Excuse me, those, those allergies, man. And right now, uh oh, deadlift gut wrench right come, coming up from uh, Bomber. Oh, setting it up, what's he gonna do for, uh oh, oh, pile driver. Going for the pin. And right now, Bomber not too happy. Oh, Bratton old bomb. No! What the heck? And Bomber is now cussing a fit. Stay on him. That's what you gotta do, man. Bomber with an earthquake style splash. Because we all know that uh, that was a big earthquake splash at one time. That sit down splash. And now. Oh, missed a drop kick and oh, oh man, at Creighton, I guess he was still uh, dizzy from all the damage he took, and he took a clothesline from a uh, bomber. Oh boy. Oh man, S hangs him out to dry. Remember that move was used one time by uh, a certain crippler. No, and Croyton kicks out again. Wow. Throws him back in the ring.
Oh, man, and Croyton, man, I'll tell you what. Dang, oh, man. Bomber is bombing him all over the place right now, and, uh... No, Croyton kicks out of God Almighty. How much more can Croyton take of this? Oh, and he throws a forearm, and now... Oh, Croyton code. Oh, man. And and, and uh, that didn't look good. Bomber was holding his uh, face where he has his glasses on. I tell you the danger of wrestling glasses on. And that's it. Croyton wins. I guess... Yeah, wow. Holy cow. Croyton survives two of them. Wow. And there's McManus. What the heck too are you doing, TK? Wow. So Croyton not only uh, wins against McManus, but he withstands Bombers cashing. Nuts, man. I'll tell you that much right now. Coming up next, Michelle Marquis. The sultry voice of this uh, head of the women's division right now until Jay Cole comes back. Tell you that much right now. And here we come. Here comes Michelle Marquis. And she's coming to the ring right now. Oh, no, she is in the ring. Holy cow. Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, welcome. I'll tell you what, it's been a good night here so far. I mean, all the ladies' action been going on here. We got a new... Uh, Queen of the Wasteland champion, which is Cheyenne. Good to see her break out of that slump. I was getting a little worried about her, I mean, because she is a great talent. But unfortunately, her dad lost to Crichton tonight in that attempt at cashing that briefcase, so. And then, of course, we've got new contenders here tonight as uh, Jerry Missile and Monica Del Rey won the triple threat match to, uh, as uh, now next week at Wasteland, it will be them against Asia and Dana for the MSW Women's Tag Team Titles. And just to let you know right now, uh, yeah, we got the brand extension coming up, yes. I've been, I've been uh, wondering about that. So here's my plans. I guess I've been given a uh, thing by the committee that I could stay as overall head of the women's division. But I told him once Jade comes back, I'm going to go to uh, Big Time Wrestling and be the head of their women's division. You know what? Because I kind of like it here, and it's like Malachi has offered me a lot of money, offered me a big contract to do that. So I am going to do that. Sorry, Scotty. We're, st we're, we're still lovey-dovey, right? But right now, it's all business. And you know what? That's the thing about it. I mean, uh, right now it's going to be big time brand against the Fury brand. And uh, that'll be coming up. That'll start kicking full gear after Wasteland. Thank you all. Thank you for your support. Wow. And I'll tell you what right now. So... Michelle Marquis says once Jay Cole comes back, she's going to big time wrestling and going to manage their women's division. Wow. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. 
You just heard right there from her, folks. And right now, right, right now on uh, YouTube, part one of Reborn is up. But oh man, does Bomber even want to rustle? Bomber's gonna head right back out here. Wow. Well, by golly. He watched the uh, Universal Title Opportunity blow up in front of his face after cashing it in, and now he's got to go and do this. Wow. I'm pretty sure he is not going to be happy. But he brought it on himself, I got to say. As Alex Brimstone is going to take on Bratton Bomber. We still got three other women's matches come up. I guess Mar Marquis didn't have enough time to talk about that. Sarah Perry's going to challenge Nova for the Tri American title. You got Diamond challenging Miss Wonderland for the Universal title. And then you got the world title match, which is going to be Faith Monaco going against the TV champion Akira. So, should be interesting. And rumor was it was going to be for the Pod Gold briefcase. Now, I don't know what they're going to put on. I don't know what the prize is now going to be online, or is it just going to be a special challenge match. I mean, just nuts. I'll tell you that much right now. It's just nuts. And Broomstone's got to be angry about it. He was going to hope to get a shot at that pound of gold briefcase again. And unfortunately, that just went kaput. And it's got to feel even worse when uh, Br uh, Br Bomber cannot even win the Universal title. I'll tell you that much right now, man. That's, that's just some, uh, wow. But I bet you Takamoto's happy. He got to enjoy double double the enjoyment of watching uh, Crichton not only win once, but twice. I'll tell you that much right now. That's the thing about it. Here we go, folks. Giant against Palmer. Tell you that much right now. I'll tell you what, right now, guys, if you're tired of all the hubbub going on in Stanford, and you're looking for something refreshing. Watch us here on Must See Wrestling, will you? We'll try to give you something really different and really exciting. That's what we got right now with Bomber against Brimstone. Oh man, a flip over clothesline by Brimstone. And fans, uh, you know what, outside the thing and uh, outside the park. Hello, Dust Killer, how you doing tonight, sir? Great to hear from you. Oh boy, and what's up? Oh, trips him up and why? Kind of like a little mini choke slam. 
Bomber, you know what? Bomber's gonna be aiming that angst at Brimstone because I'm pretty sure he did I'm pretty sure he did not want to uh wrestle on this. Uh you know what? After especially not having a successful cash in. You can hear me, that's awesome, thank you. So awesome. Bomber going to work on Brimstone. Of course, Brimstone and uh, Blue Arrow did win a tag team match over Bomber and Ethan Walker Wednesday. But of course, it has not gone well for the winners of that match because Blue Arrow lost the uh, attempt to win the uh, title, the Simba Wasteland title from uh, Ethan Walker. And now, Brimstone is wrestling uh, just for nothing now because Rumors was it was going to be for the uh, power gold briefcase that the bomber used to own, but not anymore. As he cashed that in and lost against Quaiton, and now bomber dro oh man dropping him, wow. No, no, no. Oh wow. Oh man, and there's a punch right to the face of uh, Palmer. And now, oh man, ouch. Wow, that was nasty. Oh, and there's a nasty elbow from the Pratt and Bomber. Oh no, not from the Bomber. And uh, I'm sorry, B versus B. That's what they can call this matchup. Later on, we're going to see Christopher going against, uh... Sounds good, man. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to see Christopher defend the NWA title against John Monaco later on tonight. So he's going to be doing that. And Bomber going to try to go for the pin. Bomber, yeah, Bomber's not in the greatest spirits. Doesn't, it doesn't matter if uh, Siam won the, uh... Queen of Wasteland title, but he is not in the best of spirits right now. All because he had an opportunity. He had thought he picked the right time to uh, go after Crichton, and all of a sudden what happened was Crichton beat him. And now, oh, and Brimstone going over the top. You like your pink belt, I bet you do, and uh, I don't think the fans like it. They think you just tarnished the legacy of the NWA with that pink belt. Of course, I am talking to the NWA World Champion, Christopher, right now, as he is roaming around on the forums. <laughs> he says, boo-hoo, as his response, and it's like, oh boy. Christopher's running with the ball on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good gosh. He's running out with the ball of irritation to the fans. And Brimstone kicks out again. Wow. And right now... And right there, a dragon screw by Bomber, taking down the big brimstone. A big man versus the Bomber. Going for the pin. No, and brimstone kicks out. Good gosh. What a matchup we have of epic proportions. between these two. <laughs> and Christopher saying too many crybabies. Oh boy. <laughs> Rubbing so moon, isn't he? Oh man, there's the brimstone bomb. Oh man. Bomber may not be in a, in a happier mood if he winds up losing this one too. Oh man. Oh, oh. brimstone. 
And oh, Brimstone Bomber has feet at the ropes. Oh my God. Oh, and Bomber just got kneed in the face. Good God Almighty. And now B Broomstone in the corner. Oh man, and now Bomber just booing him right in the face and now kicking him in the gut. Oh, oh good gosh. Wow. Right there and I'll flip it out of the corner. Wow. Set it up again. Oh man, there's the Bratno Palm. Not the one in motion, but he nailed it. Going for the pen. And that's it, Bomber redeems himself. Big win for the man out of Cleveland who lives in Alabama. But he calls Cleveland his home. And look at that, Palmer, wow, wow, Brimstone. You know what? That you know what? I cannot believe it. Brimstone just shook the hand of our bomber. Wow, there is some respect right there, folks. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll tell you that much right now. All right, folks, let's get going here for with another exciting match here. Oh wait a minute, we got something going on in the back. Who the heck is this guy? Oh my gosh. Oh gee. What the heck? Is that the guy Rick Floor was talking about? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I think it's that Reverend Morbid guy that uh, Ric Flair was talking about. Oh, man, and there we go. Morbid and Crichton going at it. You know, yeah. I think this is the guy that Ric Flair was talking about. He says he's bringing a guy that's going to be Morbid, and this is it. I think this is the guy right here. I know, uh, I guess supposedly he's supposed to be a good friend of Lorenzo Wolfchild. <laughs> and Creighton's only been through two matches. I mean, I'm not, I'm not tuning his horn or anything, but you know <laughs> what, hey. Oh, wait a minute, Ric Flair's walking over in there. You like my find there, uh, Cannon Bear? Huh? Woo! That is rubber Morbid. Woo! Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you something right now. This is a guy who's gonna, this is the guy who's gonna put Crichton in his place. Yeah. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of Crichton trying to show me up each time. And you know what? Go get him, Reverend. Go get him, sir. Woo! The nature boy has spoken. All right, you just heard Flair right there uh, 
talking, and oh, Creighton, wait a minute. I don't think Creighton's going to let him get a, uh, make a name for himself at his expense, I'll tell you that much. Oh, right in the table. Ooh, man. And Takamoto claims that Corey's about to get ready to go 3-0 and tonight. Well, it's not really a real match. It's just, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Yeah, would you call it a ball of three? Uh, a real match? I guess it would be. Who knows? It's a phantom victory, it would be called, or a phantom loss. Because it really doesn't mean anything, but you know what? It mean, I guess it means something for somebody who starts it and somebody who uh, gets victimized by it. Oh man, and Morbid try hitting Crichton with the fire extinguisher, but Crichton would have nothing to do with it, man. Wait a minute, I got Malachi. What the heck's going on here? This is baloney, Cannonball. Yeah. You land they're letting this idiot attack Crichton? They're letting him attack Mr. Big Time? I will not have this crap around on my show. Morbid, don't even bother to sign with Big Time. You hear me, comrade? Well, there you go right there. I guess that's one guy that, uh... That's gonna be one guy that... I guess, uh, Malachi does not want. Ow, man. Crichton now getting nailed, of course, yeah. This is baloney, Karen Bell. This is very much baloney. I'll tell you what right now. If I was musty rusted, I would suspend this guy permanently. What's his name again? Reverend French Bread? I don't know, I don't know, have him off, it's morbid. Oh, okay, Reverend Bird Crap. That's his name. Don't you have a match against Cold Blood tonight in your defense of the tri American Town? You don't worry about that, little, little, oh uh, no. Let me tell you something right now. I will, I will take Mr. I will, I will take Mr. Cold Blood and show the Ninja Turtle how to make turtle soup of Ninja Turtle. And, and Crichton, show him what's all about, Corey. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. And Takamoto was right. Corey went 3-0 tonight. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Coming up next, Sarah Perry against Nova. Women's Tri American title on the line. Now I gotta remember Takamoto's notes. Be quiet when Sarah Perry comes out to the ring. I got that.
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh we forgot to put the... Oh, man, stupid technical assistance forgot to put the uh, introduction on it. Vampiro 712 must not be working tonight. Usually he would have the entrances. What the heck? I will just point that out, whoever and morbid guy. I like watching Sarah Perry's entrance myself. Now remember, Sarah Perry, you want to know what's important about her in Musty Wrestling? She is the woman with the hottest piece of merchandise that sold them the most, uh, most, mer she is the best selling, best merchandise seller there is in the catalog of Musty Wrestlers. Her posts are sold copies and copies. But right now she's in there with a tough veteran in the form of Nova. So right now, as we know, the big time wrestling roster has uh, two uh, names on the list. Corey Crichton is going to be, of course, uh, the uh, gun, gun ship to the uh, league. And then, of course, once uh, you have 11, man, you know what? Sarah's going to love you. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll tell you what, and uh, if you did not hear earlier, Michelle Key says as soon as Jay Cole comes back, she's going to uh, big time to uh, manage the women's division over there. So she's going to be a women's wrestling promoter over there. <laughs> There's a bad moon in the corner. Wow. <laughs> I have 11. You are a loyal fan there, uh, Mr. Takamoto. Now there's a question I want to ask. What are brands that Sarah Perry goes to? Would that mean that Vampiro 712 would go there too? Who knows? And I bet you I believe me, I think Vampiro 712 will have a fit will have a fit when he watches this tomorrow because Yeah, I don't think he appreciates them cutting out Sarah Perry's entrance. And right now, oh, look at that. Nice, uh, oh man, and Sarah Perry going to work. She's looking to see if she can break her slump. Oh man, there's a uh, vertical suplex into the cross arm breaker. Oh man. She's putting together a chain of moves here, and uh, oh man, oh, ouch. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Ooh. Bends back on the shoulder, wow. Oh, here we go. Is this what it is? Is this? Oh, it's the bad moon salt, as she calls it. Oh, bad moon. Oh man, and that's a move that won Sarah Perry a lot of titles here. She may have another one here tonight. Oh, not quite. Nova kicks out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh oh. Going that cross arm breaker, now grabbing the leg and trying to uh, re erect the right side of uh, Nova here. Oh, wow. Oh, sling blade. Good God almighty. Wow. Sling blade. That is a vicious, that is a vicious variation of the clothesline if I've ever seen it. That spin around and then hits him with the, uh, knocks him down. Oh man, now Sarah Perry getting kicked. And again in the knee. Oh. 
Now I'm at one thing right now. I like a, I like how this player extension is going. I guess all champions have privilege to be on both shows. So it means you're holding a title. You can appear on Fury, and you can appear on Big Time. But once you lose that title, you go back to the specific brand that you signed up with. So like for an example, right now, no, if it was happening right now, Nova would have the dual privilege. Oh, and there it is right there, the, uh, the makeover. Nova going for the pin. Oh man, and Sarah Perry gets a shoulder up barely, and uh, wow, Nova not too happy. Oh, going out again. Oh, gosh. And Nova wins again. Gosh almighty, uh, what is going on with Sarah Perry? That's the, uh, wow. I don't know what to say. I really don't know, man. I could have swore she was. I could have swore uh, she could have won the uh, Troy American title after that bad moon that they just showed uh, her head in it. But uh, Nova kicked out of it. Wow, big victory for Nova, I'll tell you that much right now. And that matchup could have went either way. Oh my gosh, Nova still holding on to Troy American title. I'm pretty sure she will want another shot at either the Universal or the Women's World title. I'll tell you that much right now. Unbelievable. Wow. Stay tuned, folks. More action still to come. Oh, what's Kyle Bennett doing out here? I wonder if he's going to answer the uh, rumors about uh, Malachi blocking... Uh, All right, here we go. Here comes Kyle Bennett, man. Hello, fans. How you doing tonight? I'll tell you what. I mean, uh, let me tell you something right now. Yeah, I, I heard rumors about Malachi trying to block his younger brother and my tag team partner, turn this for the thing. Well, fans, I just want to rest assure you and let you know, Turnus is recovered from a hamstring injury, and he will be back next week. I guarantee you that right now. 
Now, I don't know what brand we're going to be on, but I'll tell you what. We might, you know what, um, there's a certain brand that does not have a certain tyrant wanting it. And I'll tell you that much right now. You know? Yeah, you know what, uh, you, basically, we need uh, some kind of uh, thing where we're treated fairly. And I'll tell you that much right now. But Malachi, I'm going to wish you all the luck in the world for you to lose to Jimmy Coldblood Jr. tonight. For, and uh, I hope he takes away that Tri-American title. I like that kid. I'm going to tell you that much right now. He's incredible. He's brilliant. And you know what? I'm going to wish my brother the best of luck tonight in his tag team triple threat match tonight. I want to see him get the world tag team titles. Because I think when uh, Turnus comes back, I think we're going to be going after a certain baseball furies that stole the titles from us. Whoa, wait a minute. Who's coming out to the ring right now? Oh, boy. Oh, man, this is going to be interesting. Who is that coming out of the ring? Oh, boy. Oh, gee. It's the devil himself, Malachi Avramov. But you know what? I got to be nice. The devil's been nice to me because he, uh, we talked and, uh, you know what? Hey, he even gave me a bottle of bourbon as kind of like an olive branch, kind of like a uh, forgiveness. Oh, Kyle Bennett. Oh, oh, oh comrade. Oh, oh. Oh, comrade, listen to you in those brave words. Oh my gosh, you make me laugh. You are comic relief to MSW. You and my big bone, big bone, bull headed brother, Terminus. I'm gonna tell you what right now, uh, Malachi. You know what? Your reign of terror will end here. I tell you that much right now. How long can you be in power, man? How long can you be in power? Luckily enough, it's only for one show and not for both of them because we'd be up a we'd be up a you know what kind of creek without a paddle. I'm gonna be in power for a long time, now, Kyle. You better understand that, Jerry's Jerry's lesser talented brother. That's what you are. Yes. You are a lesser talented brother. You know what? You are. You wish to be everything that Jerry is. And I'll tell you what. I may not like the guy, but he's done a whole lot more than you did, my friend. If you're trying to get under my skin, it's not working. Because you know what? I'm going to resist you, Malachi. You are nothing but the freaking devil. You are a jerk. You are, uh, you know what? You have terrorized me. You have terrorized Terminus. You have also terminized, terrorized Tatiana, okay? Let me tell you that much right now. And uh, you know what? Oh, you brought up Shadow by the real name. What, do you have feelings for her, Kyle? Huh? Do you have feelings for her? Oh, man. Kyle and Tati, I up in the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. And you know the rest of that stupid song. See, there you go again, starting rumors. I'll tell you that much right now. I'll tell you what right now. I'm going to tell you what. Uh, when uh, Terminus comes back and when Red, Dawn, Red Dawn's in full force, you go find yourself a partner. You go find yourself a partner because me and Terminus, we like, like to clean the clocks of you and your partner, whoever's stupid enough, the team up with you. You understand? Be careful what you wish for, Kyle. Be careful. It could happen. And you know what could be worse about it? You may not like it. You may regret it. And you know what? You may be coming home tonight at Shadow uh, to Shadow's house, all banged up and bruised up, not not wanna uh, all you know, you're you're gonna look like a pile of crap. You know what? Keep talking, Malachi. I'm gonna knock your freaking head off. I am gonna I am gonna paint the floor with your head. Well you are I'm not gonna do that. You know what? I'm gonna be a man of my word. I'm gonna let 
Jimmy Coldblood Jr. finish you up. I see him winning that Tri-M title tonight, so you all will kiss that baby goodbye. And when he does, I'm gonna go in your locker room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the biggest drink in the world, and I'm gonna drink it in front of you, and I'm just gonna laugh at you while you're crying, buddy. Yeah, I want, I want to guarantee you that right now. You are, because you are nothing but a selfish fool. And whoever you got underneath your control should be ashamed of themselves. Wow. Kyle Bennett laying it out against Malachi. Oh my gosh. Good God almighty, man. I'll tell you that much. Unbelievable. What can you say? Oh, man. This is not me at all so far. I mean, yeah, there is a lot of stuff here. I mean, let's let's think about it, man. I mean... Coming up next, right there, you see it. Coming up, Diamond. Going to get a shot at Miss Wonderland's Universal title. This should be a good one, folks. I'll tell you what, this is going to be interesting, folks. Diamond and Miss Wonderland, they've been tag team partners, but tonight they're going against each other for Wonderland's title. This is going to be interesting. No doubt about it, man. No doubt about it. Here we go, folks. Let's get this one going. And this spell is for one fall and for the women's universal title. <laughs> Excuse me. And here comes Diamond. And coming on to the ring right now, we got the Universal Women's Champion, Miss Wonderland. Oh. And while that's going on, I'm gonna go into the run. I'm gonna go to the refreshment stand real quick. I will be right back.
And Miss Wonderland go right after Diamond. Oh, wait a minute. This can't be we're seeing another pot of gold cash in? Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Question is, is Sakura going to have better luck than uh, what Bomber had? Sakura driver, this could be it. Oh, man. That would have been something else if Sakura could have nailed it right there. Oh, my gosh. And there's the Sakura elbow. Oh, my gosh. Basically, I have to say, she's getting vengeance. I don't know, is this the way of her getting vengeance for uh, losing out in the MSW title when uh, she challenged Sabrina Monaco uh, last week and... Uh, Shell came in and cashed in the briefcase. Oh boy, prepare, I guess, for big time Russell Wednesday. It's going to be called Pile of Gold Wednesday, I got a feeling. Because now we've seen both of them cash in on the same night. Are you serious? Wow. Must have been a burning a hole in their hand. Must have been burning a hole on their hand. And oh, Sakura, oh! That move that she does all the time, kicking somebody in the gut, and they're down to, they're down to one knee, she'll run off the ropes and nail the flipping, the, kind of like a buff blockbuster neck breaker. And Diamond now, taking care of the uh, Sakura, she's probably, yeah, probably, I wouldn't doubt that they're, probably both these girls are calling Sakura an intruder. But she, but Sakura is perfectly uh, going into the rule book of the uh, pot of gold because basically 
That's what it is. You cash a time, cash it anywhere, anytime. Oh, right there, sent on the back, and... Oh, man, and Diamond gets out of it. Wow. So Sakura's decided not to uh, take a rust, Tara. She's uh, decided thinking, like, uh, this can be her opportunity for victory. I swear to goodness, man, what a matchup. And right now, it's Wonderland and Miura in the ring right now. Wow. Right now, Diamond taking the Miura. And here we go. And this is unbelievable. And right now... Man, what a matchup between these three. Start off as two, but Miura decided to cash in the money in, the, in, in her uh, power gold briefcase, and now she's gonna look to see if she can become the universal champion. I'll tell you that much right now, man, I, you know? Miss Wonderland going for the pin. Doesn't do it. 
Wow. Oh, man, there's that swinging side slam. We have not seen Wonder Milan use that in a while. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, man, what a matchup of epic proportions. Holy cow. I'll tell you that much right now. And Sakura Mira has become the champion. Wow. She did it. She cashed in and wound up winning. <gasps> Holy cow. Unbelievable. So both of the briefcases cashed in, but one succeeded. And that would be Sakura Miura. Holy. Oh my gosh, man. And there you go, right there, there is the new Universal Champion. Wow. Congratulations. Just like that, she wins the power gold on Wednesday, cashes it in, cashes it in tonight and wins the title. What an unpredictable night, you better believe it. It is, Takamoto. I'll tell you what. Yeah. It is a very unpredictable night. And we still got one more match and one more segment to go. Last match for the second segment here is going to be Jimmy Coldblood Jr. against Malachi Abramoff. Extreme Rules. Try American title. And here we go, folks. Let's get the ring right now for this one. Should be a good one, folks. Oh, wait a minute. They, uh, wow. Forget the introductions. They want to get it on right now. Oh man, what a backbreaker by Malachi.
Malachi with the neck breaker. What? I'll tell you what, Malachi's been on roll here as of late. Oh, Malachi, what the heck? What is going on with Malachi that he's been... Oh, man. Is Malachi still suffering from the attacks by... Uh, I mean, is Jimmy Colbert still suffering from the attacks by... Uh, what the heck is it, I would say... Uh, from the match he had with Daddy? I guess whatever, if that was the grand plan, it worked. Oh, man. You've got to be kidding me, man. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Unbelievable. Well, folks, that's it for segment two. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get with the uh, uh, third segment as soon as possible. We're going to take a little bit of a break, but we'll be back with the third and final segment for tonight. Stay tuned. <laughs> 